Okay guys, this video is just going to be me dissecting some of the matches I've shot, some of the little matches. So we're starting with a classifier. This is 2002, one of the new ones we got from Nationals, and I got 100% on this one. Um, executed it pretty well, very fast. I can't remember, the oh, five, 495 was the time. And then a slow-mo breakdown. So I draw to the harder target so I can move away from this corner on that easier target. I acquire my sights on that other open target, and then uh, it's it's quick. So right on the end there and falling out. Um, and I was able to get alphas. I think I had two Charlies, but the time was fast. Here's 2003. And uh, as you see, I actually moved too far for the steel. I had to stop, and it was awkward. And uh, right from the start, I tried to push it a little too much. So I miss. I think it took sh six shots for the four steel and uh, overshot the first uh, position and then the second one fell out. Anyways, I think I shot an A. This stage, you can't see the targets, but uh, these are I'm taking from that second array. I'm taking from very far, then I move to the final position. I basically break this down. And I didn't see anybody else do this. They moved up to the front. I broke this down from two positions. So slow-mo, I step in. It's important I get my spot exactly right so I can see the targets. I draw to an open paper on the farthest left that you can see from the start. But my left foot goes down right where it needs to so that I can lean, see the popper and the other paper that's hidden behind a wall. And like I said, unfortunately, you can't see it. Uh, but... Then I transition to the farther targets, which as I shift my weight, this is very important with your hips. You gotta open up your hips and, and get low, widen your stance, and it feels, you feel like you're lower than you actually are. I feel like I'm so low here. And then I'm shifting my weight to my right side so that I can get the targets. There's actually one more target that I can't get from this position, but I know that I can see it at the end and that's why I choose to take this from two positions instead of three most people moved up and took all those targets and I just left one that you'll see I'll get right it'll be one of my last targets so I go to the far corner where there's two hiding around some uh, barriers and uh, barrel that's on the ground I'm shooting the lower one that you can see actually right now then I position on the other side of this no shoot barrel to steel and then to the target that I left right here um, that I couldn't get from my first position. And then I transition back, as you see, same thing with the hips, wide stance, and my hips, I'm leaning from one side to the other so I can get a large, I can cover a large area from one spot. And it's important to look at things like that. This one, I shoot the activator first, and then it opens a max trap. Uh, and I just, I basically take what I can take, which was one target. This is a very tough lean. <laughs> I'm on one foot for all three targets and uh, then kind of go by the one target in that uh, port too quick and have to go back for it, losing some time. Um, didn't execute this stage great, but not enough to get a stage win. Uh, so you just, with max traps or swings or anything like that, you try to see what you can do while that's being activated, obviously it helps to know how much time. This was a very hard lean, it was right on the right on the 180 line, so it's like I really, I had to do a drop step to get it, and this I was just a little out of position, so I had to go back because I put one into the black. And then I didn't even aim for this big uh, forward faller, so I think it took three or four shots by the time I got it, and then a swinger over there, and then a uh, zebra at the end. So that's why I was really concentrating, making sure I got my hits. This one was fun. Um, I'm basically just shooting it right to left, working my way out. And again, the hips and stance is everything. I reloaded in the wrong spot. I planned to reload right there from that big transition from far left to far right because there was so much time to take those three targets that are on the farthest right of your screen. Um, but here's the slow the slow mo um, headshot, no problem. And these are all pretty easy shots. Um, but as you see, I take a step back so I can get this one. I couldn't get it from the first position, but as I open up my hips to it, then you can get those things, and it's important to look at things like that. There's just two here. Uh, one's open, one's a little more difficult, and then I transition to these three on the move because they're close, and then I, since my hips are facing that way, I'm going to start with that furthest right target and then work my way right to left as I did. Um, fun stage, pretty quick.
uh, this one uh, I shot really well um, lots of steel and I shot the first part of steel faster than I anticipated and the second steel I didn't want to miss any so I wanted a one for one everything and I was able to do that this what you're not seeing on the far right that I'm shooting at is a uh, it's Leo's leaner, so it's got a, I don't know if you're not familiar, it's got a paddle on each side and then a paper target, so you shoot a paddle off and then it drops off a weight and starts swinging like a regular swinger, but there's also a second, there's a paddle on each side that you have to knock off. I shot it uh, really well, well, I'll get to that. Open paper, really fast, big steel, pretty easy, but these smaller steel, they trick you, so you gotta take your time, which I did slow down for. Um, and then walk shoot these uh, tricky no shoots. Make sure you see your sights when you're doing that. Um, but I've been practicing that, so I felt pretty confident. And here I missed my first paddle, but I shot both paddles off. Ended up uh, the weights. I shot the paddles too quickly because the weights didn't fall off. So the swinger it actually never exposed itself. I, I could see the Charlie never could even get the Alpha. Um, so it, they ended up actually throwing the stage out, anyways. So. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered. I only got one hit on it, but I didn't go back for it just for that reason. I couldn't see anything other than a, a delta at that point. But anyways, next is this is uh, one that is in one of my other videos, and it's important just the movement of it. So I'm walking back on these targets, um, and, and again, I'm just going to keep touching on it. It's all about uh, the little things you can do. Even if it's not a big movement, if you can just have a simple weight shift to your next towards your next position while still being able to get good hits on the array you're shooting you're doing well um, so we'll slow it down this is important take a big step I try to cover as much ground as I can on the draw and well not that it felt like more uh, but even that little bit just that lean backwards allows me to just be in this corner really quick much quicker and then a wide stance puts me in this position from that corner to this port to get all those. And then I forgot to reload, typical, because that's just what I do sometimes. But uh, I walk shoot these really well, um, real slow to make sure I go one for one, because I have time to get in this position to shoot everything else, in, which is my final position. So just things that you can cut, it, cut down on. You don't want to rush it if you're gonna try to do something uh, to save time. Make sure you execute well. Um, here I drew to the head. This is another one that was in another video. Um, could have shot that side a little bit faster. And uh, I, I just remember feeling really stiff. I hadn't woke up yet. I think this was the first stage I shot, but for the morning. Anyways, uh, it wasn't quite comfortable, but I executed it well. Again, hips are open, and I'm moving back on those targets. Could have moved a little more, but it is what it is. Popper had a forward faller that exposed a smaller one. So take one out shoot the close targets and then go back for the after that forward follower has time to fall and get out of the way um, as you see there so this I is another classifier I don't remember the name of it or the number but uh, another 100% on this one um, and I was just it's just fundamentals so I don't practice classifiers ever uh, I just practice fundamentals you know sometimes I'll pick it up off a table and uh, I practice it several times picking it up off a table standing up with it I prefer to stand some people sit but uh, it's all about getting a good grip and then shooting your sights um, just as simple as that that's how I treat classifiers like any other stage I don't try to go super fast or hero run them and it typically I've done much better since I've done that uh, this one is getting to the far position. There's two targets that are far. I have to make a makeup shot because one's a zebra and I always like to put one in the black. And then uh, it's simple as I didn't want to go far the long way around so I cut the corner and I think most people did because uh, then you can see everything else from there. So just looking at eliminating positions and shortening the distance between you one array to the, to the next. Um, this one was fun, three, uh, not three shots, uh, two shots each, but it was just a lot of shooting, and again, I forgot to reload, <laughs> but it still was a fast stage, um, uh, kind of, I think I just slightly out of position on, uh, uh, on the middle 
portion, um, and that's mostly due to me forgetting to reload, which I'm working on it. I gotta practice more in my practices to reload at the right spot. Um, so I didn't quite get where I wanted to there, and so I kinda had to stutter step and leave a little late. My body wanted to leave too soon. But I'm still, overall, I think I had like one or two Charlies. Uh, this one, <laughs> it's again gonna expose me for getting to reload. I was supposed to reload right there before I went to these arrays, this array, and then uh, finish right here. You could, you had the option to go all the way forward, have closer shots, but I chose to stay back uh, since I shoot a dot. It's uh, kind of that luxury to stay back, and I'm confident since I practice difficult shots to make those uh, match. Um, if it's you know if it's more beneficial, going to save time. Again, I should have reloaded before this array. Forgot, ran out. Do a standard reload. The cardinal sin when you're uh, running the bigger mags and uh, finish it out. So it didn't cost. It costs. I mean. It, about a, at least a second but it is what it is so the moral of this is I think the big takeaway is moving on targets you can putting your hips putting your feet and your hips in the positions you need to to take up uh, more space so you can actually shoot multiple rays or partial arrays of another spot to eliminate those extra stops you have the extra positions during uh, during the course of fire um, and then just practicing movement being comfortable even if it's a little movement as much as just a shift change in your body weight being comfortable pointing your feet to your next array and then shifting your weight towards that is still going to save you time um, and then you just advance it the more you practice uh, so anyways that's just a breakdown of what i see in my last couple matches whenever i shot those um, and uh, pros and cons, stuff to work on always, but that's why we love this sport. So let me know what you think, give me feedback, like and subscribe.